So your brisket's been smoking away for hours and it's almost done, but you don't know what temperature to pull it off. One website says pull it at 195, one says 203 degrees, one says don't go by temperature, go by feel, and you don't know what the f that means. Well, not to worry guys, I've been there before and I got your back. In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact temperature to pull your brisket off of your smoker so that it's tender and delicious and juicy. So stick around, let's get to the video. All right, guys, the first thing you need to know is that there is no exact temperature where all briskets are gonna be done every single time across the board. There's a temperature zone that you have to hit in order to start rendering the connective tissue and making sure that you get a nice, tender, delicious brisket. The temperature zone is 195 degrees to 203 degrees internal. You wanna ensure that at a bare minimum, you leave the brisket inside of that temperature point for at least 30 minutes to allow that connective tissue to start rendering. Every cow is different. There might be like a huge cow that's benching like 500 pounds and beating up all the other cows on the pasture and it's got a super developed pectoral region and that is gonna make the brisket super tough and it's going to need more time in that temperature zone to render and get tender as a result. So keep that in mind, every piece of meat is different and that's why you don't know when your brisket is done unless it meets these three tests. The first one is temperature. That's the one you're looking for right now. Make sure the temperature hits at least 195 degrees Fahrenheit and stays in that temperature zone from 195 to 203 for at least 30 minutes. But that doesn't guarantee you a nice tender brisket. You also have to do the second test, which is going by feel. You put your fingers underneath the brisket, so get some nitrile gloves, put some cotton gloves underneath the nitrile so that you can actually not get burned, and then put your fingers underneath the brisket, lift up on it, feel around. If it feels like really floppy and wobbly and it feels like a big piece of jello, then it's probably indicating that it's done, but you wanna do the third test, which is the probe test. So usually I do this while I'm temperature probing the brisket. You insert the probe into the point muscle and into the flat muscle because they might be finishing at different temperatures. And if it goes in and it feels like kind of like room temperature butter with like very little resistance and you can't really feel any pushback at all, then that is telling you that it's done. So make sure that you meet those three tests. After you meet those three tests, then take the brisket off of the smoker, but you're not done yet. You still have to rest it for at least two hours. So take it out, put it on the counter, put a towel over it, and let it rest for two hours. Otherwise, it's not gonna have a chance to settle all of those moisture molecules down. And when you cut into it, all the moisture is just gonna gush out. And also resting helps to finish the rendering process and continue to cook it as it rests because it's gonna come down slowly in temperature and continue to render out all of that fat and all of that connective tissue. So make sure you rest it and then you're gonna have an awesome brisket. I hope this video helped guys. If you wanna check out another video about how to cook a brisket, properly, then check this one out. It's a really great video that I shot a few months ago. It's gonna take you through the process of trimming a brisket, how to uh, wrap it, how to prepare it, how to cook it, and how to finish it so that it's tender, delicious, and smoky, and has a nice bark. Catch you in the next video, guys. Testing the audio on my new studio. Hey, everybody, my name is Steve Gow.